Bailey Bailey here. I hope you've had an excellent weekend. But it's Monday now, so sucks to suck. Friendliness. It's a great thing, right? Now, I'm from New York, so this is a semi-foreign concept to me. In New York, there's standards of politeness, of course. You don't look at other people, you don't make eye contact, and you certainly don't smile at them. That's being polite, neighborly. But obviously I've traveled around quite a bit, and I've found that being friendly in New York is being really antisocial in almost everywhere else. For example, in other parts of the United States, it's common to talk to other people. I know, it really freaked me out the first time strangers started talking to me. I was once in the bank, like, cashing a check in Portland, Oregon, and it was a Friday, I guess, because the guy was like, so, got any plans this weekend? And I'm like, why do you need to know? As a New Yorker, when people ask questions about what I'm up to, I have three basic assumptions. Assumption number one is that they're just being overly friendly, and I try to make it as clear from my body language and awkward eyebrow look that I'm not into that stuff. Assumption number two is that they're flirting with me, because why would you show basic interest in another human being unless you want to get with that? Assumption number three is that they're a serial killer, and they're just asking me if I'm hanging out with friends later to see if I actually have friends so that people will not miss me when I've been dead for three days in a ditch. But I found that I'm more uncomfortable with friendliness in the United States than I am in other countries. Because in other countries, it's more like the New York scene. Like in Paris, for instance, I lived in an apartment building for a year. I saw neighbors every so often, and we'd never say more than bonjour, and then get in the elevator and possibly, possibly ask what floor they're going to. But you really had to ask which floor they were going to, because the elevator is literally this big, and if you're standing in this half, you have to push the buttons. I never learned one neighbor's name. Nope. Just, it's a very American thing to talk to strangers. In the airport in Iceland this week, for example, we were just waiting for a passport control to open, and this family from Boston starts up this conversation with this other woman who's going to be on our flight. And literally, their first topic of conversation is like, so where are you from? Oh, how are you driving back? And like, she told them the exact roads she was taking. And I'm like, aren't you worried you're going to be murdered? But it was cool, because their second topic was, of course, DNA analysis results. <laughs> As you do. Interestingly enough, Holler heard the whole conversation, know none of their names. So I don't know, just being friendly, I guess. So do you often think that other people are just asking questions about you so they can murder you later, or did I just watch too many police procedurals growing up? Leave a comment down below! Okay, well, I'll see you guys on Friday. In the meantime, don't talk to strangers. Unless you culturally have to. What a drag!